एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द डे इलेवन ऑफ ए एल ट्वेंटी वन डेज ऑफ कोडिंग चैलेंज ए एल प्रोग्रामिंग बूट कैम्प विद मी डॉक्टर कोमती सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिस्टम डिफाइंड वेरिएबल्स इन बिजनेस सेंट्रल सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वट आर दट आर सिस्टम डिफाइंड वेरिएबल एंड वट आर द सिस्टम डिफाइंड वेरिएबल विच वी हैव आई शो यू है एग्जाम्पल एज वेल सो सिस्टम डिफाइंड वेरिएबल्स और ऑटोमेटिकली डिक्लेयर एंड इनिशलाइज फॉर यूज इन एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल so whenever we uh, start with where right we are creating something with where and um, we'll be creating uh, some uh, uh, variables here okay number colon integer so this we'll call it as a user defined variable like we can define the name of the variable and we will be assigning a data type for that okay so this is user defined system defined in the sense already uh while creating al programming itself there are few variables which are which have its own meaning and which have its own purpose to use it so that is what we call it as a system defined variable so often used is system defined variables or rec okay r e c so rec specifies a specific record including the changes to made for example rec means when a record is modified this variable specifies the current record including the changes that are made okay for ex- if for example if the sales order uh, price is 500 and if we have changed this order price to 510 so rec will be 510 okay uh, and the first one we have is what rec the second one we have is what ex rec okay third type of system variable third system variable is what current page that is current page ओके फोर्थ वन इज करंट रिपोर्ट कर रिपोर्ट ओके एंड द फिफ्थ वन इज व्हाट रिक्वेस्ट ऑप्शन पेज ओके एंड द सिक्स्थ वन इज व्हाट करंट फील्ड नंबर सी यू आर आर एफ आई ई एल डी नंबर सो ऑल ऑफ दीज टाइप्स ऑफ सिस्टम वेरिएबल हैज इट्स ओन मीनिंग फॉर एग्जांपल एक्स रेक स्पेसिफाइज द ओरिजिनल वैल्यू ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड्स बिफोर चेंजेस ओके एक्स रेक दैट इज अ previous uh, uh, uh previous value of the record and if you talk about the uh current page okay so current page is what this variable specifies the current page okay not the number current page okay and if you take current uh, report cur report which will specifies the current report okay this is also a system defined variable and uh, you can talk about request option page okay which uh, the variable specifies the request option page for the current report specifies the for the current report okay and finally current field number specifies the this variable specifies the field number of the current field in the current table retained for compatibility reasons okay so uh, the thing about this x rec and x is what rec is what which i have already discussed in my video so once if you go to comms tech talks channel so here you can find the playlist so in the playlist you have to select um, just to scroll so once if you click the tutorial you can find the system variables in the 21st video as a 21st video please go through this okay for rec and x rec okay this will be useful for you to understand what is x rec uh, rec and x rec this is the today's first assignment you have to do because i just don't want to reiterate like what i have already taught uh, since we are in the day 11 which means that we are from uh, basics towards a intermediate level we are now in the intermediate level so you should have the um, uh, mindset to explore more and learn more do it and see like you have to practice and see you have to spend some time for practicing okay that is very very important when we are just trying to learn something in business central not only in business central also whenever we are trying to learn some uh, programming languages so let us understand the current page you can access the controls of the page through the current page variable and set the dynamic properties of the page and its control so the current page dot editable variable reflects the runtime value of the editable property so you can create the current page that is current you can access and set the dynamic page properties and the controls in the current page so let us try to uh, create something like here i'm just trying to create a page t page and naming it as 50 okay so this is system 
defined variables okay so i'm just trying to create something like i'll just show you like how you can use the current page okay so in the on action regard uh, for example you can write a condition if uh, here we have my int right so here i'll just make it as my int here okay so if my int is greater than uh, is equal to zero then car page okay so here you can see car page dot so you have for dot once if you pr press a dot you can see there are various other uh, op op uh, like a properties or a methods which is also active so current page dot activate if you wanted to activate the current page if you wanted to cancel the background task if you want to make the editable property if you want to run something if you want to save the record okay you can save the record if it is greater than one then save the record else else just error okay negative value not allowed so here this is where the current page okay so this example will give you the current page of the saving the record so current page is a is a variable is a system defined variable which has its own meaning and after that if i click a save record this is a procedure or this is a method how i am telling that this is a procedure or a method so anything which has a open and close curly uh, brackets okay open and close brackets that we call it as a function so action is a function it has its own open and close on action is also a function or a method or a procedure see function procedure method all are same okay it will uh, it it is used interchangeably okay so uh, save record so what i'm telling if anyone is entering the my integer as greater than 0 uh, greater than or equal to 0 then it should you should save the record if it is less than 0 it should not save the record okay it, it will show you to throw you some error or even you can tell some specific value for this okay so this is based on the condition okay that is current page this page can be saved only if the my int value should be greater than 10 okay so that is about the page okay so likewise we have other uh, uh, other uh, thing as well and for the reports okay so if you take reports you can see the current report current report option will be there so we, we have to create a report type of uh, uh, object here so t reports i'm just creating a t report okay where i'm just giving the id as this and we are just exploring okay system defined variable okay and here i'm just giving what uh, so we are just adding the source table here it will ask you for the source table i'm just giving the source table as a customer if you wanted to know about what is a report so this is also a prerequisite for you please go and explore what is report here okay reports uh, this is the ex this is the exercise which i have already given you during the day four that is the day four exercise okay day four and day five you have to explore what is the snippet and what are the objects in business central if you have missed the previous days please go and watch it if you have watched this particular uh, video you know how to create a report okay and what is a report so based on that i'm just creating a report here and this is a customer and the source field name i can give something like <clears throat> okay okay this is a customer name i am giving and then um here on the request page i don't want the request page so i'm just deleting this request page here and okay i'm just writing this request page rendering okay fine let it be so here what i can write, uh, write is what tree trigger on what on pre-report or init report or a post report so whatever it may be so here i can create if car report so car report is what the system defined variable okay dot after the dot i can see like various option if the current report dot what what the uh, actions i have okay dot preview then 
if the current report is just trying to preview then message i'm just writing some message here report and previewing a report okay got it so current report is what another uh, important uh, system variable which is used specifically for the report okay so this report what is the purpose specifies the current report access and dynamically set the property of the report so this can be used to check if the report is in the preview mode or not okay car report dot preview so here this car report is what it's a system defined variable it's already it has its own meaning and this preview is what the procedure which is uh, which which relates to the system defined variable okay so these are the uh, um, important system variables which we have and also which i told like for specifically for request page we have okay like request options so we can also do it for the on open page that is request options page okay uh so you can also create um a trigger here okay t trigger on what on open page so this is you can like uh, like create it for the page as well let me just try to create it for the page here um yes so so we have triggers we'll be understanding what is a trigger um, uh, so don't worry about it just try to understand what we are trying to uh, do it here okay so uh, in trigger we have a specific uh, various types of triggers for page so every object has its own types of pages okay like triggers every object has its own type of triggers okay okay so we will be understanding about the triggers probably um, uh, in the i think uh, in day 16 okay we will understand what is a trigger in day 16 just try to follow this uh, these try to uh, execute and try to uh, understand what these variables are and this is what the purpose of the system defined variables as well so the purpose of system defined variables is particularly specifically in uh, dynamics 365 business is to provide a standardized efficient way to access and manipulate core aspects of the application environment for example for simplification and standardization we need the uh, uh, system defined variable for efficiency we need it for contextual awareness we need it for ease of maintenance and enhanced functionality and better integration with the system features so you can easily see that for every uh, for every uh, uh, report you know like uh, we have a specific uh, specific uh, methods okay for every system defined variable so if you click on this current page okay so car current page so you can see that there is a specific um, methods which are involved for that particular uh, system defined variable so it is better to understand system defined variable so as of now we have these six system defined variables where we can use it efficiently so i'm creating i'm preparing a document for the members okay all these uh, all these explanations along with the example and uh, uh, and a pro, uh, and a program examples or uh, program so i'll be sharing with the members so if you want to join as a member it is very simple just go ahead here and you can click on this join button to join as a member i also i'm just leaving the uh, link in the description so you can see that and join if you want i'll meet you in the date while that is tomorrow um uh, about like we will be discussing about what is um what is uh, access modifier and why do we need that we will discuss that in detail so before that today today's um assignment or the homework what you wanted to do is what you should and if you have missed the previous videos please go and watch the reports okay so that is important and also you should understand about the system defined variable that is important so what is a system variables you have to watch this 21 okay other than this i am creating the program like i am creating some examples and i'll be uh, i'll be adding the examples in my uh, in my blog so please go and watch that thank you take care and bye bye